This is the most painful sting in the ocean. The Portuguese man o' war, also known as the Physalia physalis, is not actually a jellyfish, but a siphonophore, a colonial organism made of four different types of zooids that all work together as one. You can find these in warm ocean waters from the Atlantic to the Indian Ocean and even the Pacific. They drift on the surface, carried by winds and currents, and they often wash ashore in places like Florida, Hawaii, or Australia. Their vibrant blue, translucent float, which can be up to 12 inches long and 5 inches wide, sits above the water, acting like a sail, while their tentacles, which can reach 165 feet, though typically 30 to 50 feet, extend below, stinging any unsuspecting prey like fish and plankton. And yes, they do sting humans too. It's excruciatingly painful, but rarely fatal. Sometimes the sting can cause allergic reactions or even heart issues. Each man of war is made up of a colony of four different types of zooids. There's the float, or pneumatophore, which keeps the colony upright and buoyant. The tentacles, or dactylozoids, catch the prey. The digestive units, or gastrozoids, feed on the prey. And finally, the gonozoids, which are the reproductive units. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually, releasing gametes into the water to form new colonies. We don't know exactly how long they live, but it's probably somewhere between a few months and a few years. Loggerhead turtles, blue dragon nudibranchs, and blanket octopuses are among the few predators that eat the man o' war. Some even steal their tentacles to use as a defense mechanism, and that's why this creature is named after the 18th century Portuguese warships. These ocean drifters are a hazard to swimmers, and their sting can cause welts, fever, or nausea. But don't worry, vinegar or hot water will stop the pain. Despite what you may have heard, urine is not one of them. Thanks to climate change, these stinging siphonophores are now found all over the world, and beach strandings are on the rise. They're actually ecological cleaners, keeping populations of small fish in check which is pretty ironic considering they have one of the most painful stings in the ocean.